Hello and welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily. I'm Aaron Porras. And before we begin, we want to thank the thousands of you who have already subscribed to our new streaming platform, ILTV+. Plus. Your support is helping us to bring you the best and most unique content from Israel every day. Now, coming up in today's newscast, a stabbing attack attempted in the West Bank. Meantime, the duration of coronavirus isolation shortened again in the face of mounting infections. And finally, gather up your fruit trees and light those candles because Tubishvat has arrived. To begin, an attempted stabbing attack reported near the Gush Etzion checkpoint. IDF troops neutralizing the suspect, however, and no Israeli casualties recorded. Meantime, details of the incident still scant, but the IDF and witness accounts describing how the yet unidentified Palestinian man exited a vehicle before approaching IDF troops with a knife in hand. The IDF troops in question then shooting at and gravely wounding the suspect before then going out in pursuit of the car he arrived in. It's unclear how many accomplices there may be. Now, our top update today, Israeli Health Minister Nitzan Horowitz shortening mandatory COVID quarantines from a week to just five days. And likewise, isolation shortened for those who come in contact with the infected as well, with vaccinated individuals still exempt entirely from quarantine the moment they test negative. But once again, both the public and experts are asking questions. Here with hopefully some answers, Director of the School of Public Health at Ben Gurion University and an advisor to the National Coronavirus Cabinet, Professor Nadav Davidovich. Professor, thank you so much for being with us again. Now, we are uh, shortening and shortening in the face of mounting infections. If isolation doesn't need to be longer, why didn't we shorten quarantine months ago? Why only now? So we uh, need to be adapting to the new situation. Uh, Omicron is very different than previous uh, waves. We are talking about uh, very widespread uh, transmission in the community, uh, creating lots of uh, pressure on the healthcare system, on emergency services, but also a virus that uh, the incubation period is uh, shorter. Now, I think uh, that shortening to five days is probably a good idea. We also said it in the letter by the Israeli Public Health Physician Association to the Prime Minister just a few days ago, but of course, this should be done carefully. One, people need to be asymptomatic. Second, uh, probably we need to have uh, a, a test, maybe antigen test by the fourth or fifth uh, day, and also to continue and look uh, and do the surveillance to see how this is going to influence the situation. Maybe we can start um, with a subgroup like emergency mm -hmm. uh, workers. Uh, but uh, I need to tell you that, uh, uh, for example, uh, the discrepancy you mentioned about those who are vaccinated and not vaccinated, uh, probably this is not a good idea. I don't think that if someone is vaccinated, doing an immediate uh, antigen test uh, is worthwhile because uh, there is an incubation period. So mm -hmm. I think in some states, like uh, uh, the isolation period, it's uh, good to shorten it. But on the other hand, we need to be more careful uh, in other uh, in, uh, instances. For example, uh, if people don't feel well, they need to stay at home, even without a test, uh, okay. there's also influenza. So things are complicated. All right, well, well, Professor, you know, hospitals, again, li like Asuta and Ashdod, are starting to close off their emergency ward wards due to the lack of personnel and the overcrowding with COVID patient overload. Can we really afford to short shorten isolation, uh, given how quickly Omicron is spreading through the country? So again, I think there's a misunderstanding. We're not saying that, okay, let's just go and infect each other. This is not the case. We are against uh, so-called natural herd immunity. People need to be vaccinated. People need to stay at home if they're not feeling well. Uh, people need to use a uh, mask. But the fact that uh, if uh, we are still with a long uh, isolation uh, period, especially if people are asymptomatic and uh, negative, uh, this can create huge uh, economic and social, emotional effects. So the idea is when things are changing now and the Omicron is different than the previous waves, 
we need probably to adapt and have uh, adapted the measures that are proportionate. And if you'd like to see my full extended interview with N Professor Nadav Davidovich, please make sure to check it out at ILTV.tv or on the ILTV Plus app. To watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.